Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Deegan and today I'm gonna read you a story called Eastern Box Turtles and it's written by Elizabeth Thomas. And who does this look like? If you're thinking Boxster, then you're right because this is a box turtle and if you remember when Mrs. Hayes showed you Boxster, that's the kind of turtle, an Eastern Box Turtle that Boxster is. So let's see um, uh, a little bit more about this reptile. Eastern box turtles. All boxed in. Eastern box turtles get their names from their shells. Their shells snap closed like a box. Up close, Eastern box turtles grow from 5.5 to 8 inches long. Their shells are golden brown with dark brown patches. Remember seeing that on Boxster? Eastern box turtles have claws for digging, but not for fighting enemies. Their bone hard shells keep their soft bodies safe. So their shells are bone hard and their skin is soft. Eastern box turtles eat worms, bugs, fruit, and vegetables. They take small bites with their sharp beaks. At home, Eastern box turtles live in the Eastern United States. They make homes in leafy woods and grassy areas. So you can see that's where they're from. That's where they live. And this is the kind of environment that you might find them in the wild. In winter, an Eastern box turtle hibernates. It tucks its, head, its legs and head. Then it closes its shell. So that's how it turns into kind of like a little box and it hibernates, which means it goes to sleep for a long time. From egg to turtle, female Eastern box turtles lay three to eight eggs. They cover the small white eggs with dirt. So the Eastern box turtle life cycle starts as a hatchling then is a young turtle, and then is an adult turtle, which lays another hatchling, which turns into a young turtle, which turns into an adult turtle. And that keeps happening. And that's the life cycle of an Eastern box turtle. Young turtles hatch after two months. These turtles usually live about 50 years. Some live more than a hundred years. So that's the hatchling stage of their life cycle. Save the turtles. Turtles lose their homes when people build new roads and houses. But there are people working hard to protect these turtles' homes. This is an example of a scientist who helps preserve um, biodiversity by keeping the turtles safe. So if you're ever in the car with a family member or a friend and you see a turtle on the road, definitely stop and wait for the turtle to cross the road. But it's very important that you don't relocate a turtle and pick it up and bring it home because turtles are homing animals, which means they only like to be in one specific spot. So if you see a turtle and you don't know what kind it is, I don't advise anyone to bring it to a different location. So scientists like this woman here is somebody who works for the National Park Service. And these are places where wildlife is preserved and protected by scientists and conservationists. And um, they're helping to save the turtles. So there are people, um, and maybe you one day, could be someone who helps to save the turtles. 
So again, the new words that we learned in this book was beak, which is the hard mouth part on some animals, and turtles have beaks instead of teeth, so they don't have teeth. Claws, a hard curved nail on the foot of an animal. Hatch means to break out of an egg, and hibernate, hibernate means to spend winter in a deep sleep. Animals hibernate to survive low temperatures and lack of food. So I hope you had fun learning a little bit more about Eastern box turtles. And remember, I'm Miss Deegan, the other resident scientist who takes care of the plants. And I can't wait for you to come back to school one day and I get to meet you and show you all these cool plants in person. But until then, it's so nice to see you even over the computer. Have a great day.